immunosuppressants. Antigen-presenting cells bind to T-cell receptors and activate them. This activation results in a cascade of reactions that end in the release of intracellular calcium ions. The released calcium ions bind to and activate calcineurin enzymes, which is a calcium-dependent phosphatase. Active calcineurin dephosphorylates the inactive nuclear factor of activated T cell, which is abbreviated as NFAT. This phosphorylation process activates NFAT, which in turn travels into the nucleus to promote the transcription of interleukin 2 cytokines. Interleukin 2 mRNA moves to the cytoplasmic ribosome where interleukin-2 cytokines are produced. Interleukin-2 molecules are released from T-cells in response to different stimuli to start a new cascade of cell-mediated immunity. Interleukin-2 binds to and activates transmembrane receptors at T-cells. This activation process initiates a cascade of reactions that result in the activation of mammalian target of rapamycin, also known as mTOR. The active mTOR, in turn, regulates important intracellular pathways that promote cell growth and proliferation. Generally, Immunosuppressants can interfere with different stages of the cell-mediated immune system. For example, cyclosporine can traverse the cell membrane and bind to specific intracellular receptors called cyclophilines. Cyclosporine-cyclophilin complex, in turn, binds to and inactivates calcineurin enzymes. Therefore, they inhibit the production of new interleukin-2 molecules. Similarly, serolimus drug binds to intracellular binding proteins called FKBP. The serolimus FKBP complex interferes with the function of mTOR. Therefore, they suppress the proliferative effects of interleukin-2 cytokines.